Hello friends, welcome to another video on Multisim. In this video, I am going to show you how to get started with Multisim Live. Go to multisim.com. See how it works. Step one is to create your circuit. But before creating your circuit, you must have your NI account. If not, go here, sign up and get your NI account. Step two is placing all the required components in the schematic region. And step three is completing the circuit design with proper wiring and ground connection. Step four is setting up the required values for all the components in the circuit. Step five is choosing the appropriate analysis for your circuit simulation. Step 6 is running the simulation and checking the results. And step 7 is saving your project. And step 8 is collaborate with the community. Since Multisim Live is an online tool, you have the option of sharing your files with your friends or groups or public. And finally, add circuits to your group. Next, we'll look at the various features of Multisim Live. Expanding the multi-sim experience. So you can do the simulation anywhere, anytime on any device. Create circuit schematics on any OS. So it's a one special advantage of multi-sim live. You can do the simulation on any OS while the PC version or desktop version of multi-sim, you can do the simulation only on the Windows OS. You can do the interactive circuit simulation with no installation and industry standard so whatever circuits you are simulating with multi-sim live it's like a industry standard simulation it's share your circuit brilliance that means you can uh, immediately you can share your circuit with the public complete circuit teaching solution so you have the option of integrating ni multi-sim with all other uh, ni products so you can complete the entire full flow of uh, circuit teaching solutions then all the new features are automatically updated in the tool it's not necessary to do any kind of reinstallation or upgradation is required for multi-sim live and finally you have the option of streaming the data from multi-sim live to another ni tool called measurement live next we'll look at the pricings of multi-sim live so we have free subscription and premium access. Some of the major difference between the free and premium versions are the components per circuit. It's only 25 in the case of free. That means you'll have only 25 components, maximum of 25 components in the circuit. And the components library is only the basic is available for the free version. And the number of simulation types is only four while the premium will provide six different types of simulation. There are some more advanced features which are not available for the free version. Next, we'll go to the circuits tab. We have access to public circuits or reference circuits or uh, groups. So let's go to the public circuits. So you have access to all the multi-sim live circuits developed so far so you can see the most popular tags most commonly used circuits or you can search for any particular circuit in the search window and you can get your circuit and you can customize the circuit as per your needs so additionally you have uh, reference circuits the reference circuits are considered as the most standard circuits for multi-sim uh, live simulation so you can refer the reference circuits also before you start your actual circuit design let's go to login and do our first circuit simulation in multi-sim live login with your user id and password create your circuit
so let's name the circuit here there are four tabs available on the window so we are in schematic window the graph window is all about to see the results and you can go to the split window where you can see the schematic as well as the uh, results and this is your analysis so you can choose the type of analysis to be done for your circuits and on the left hand side you can see the various components to design your circuits so let's design our first circuit and do the simulation AC source so after you place a component or instrument in the window you can see there are four different options are coming so this is called flip or mirror okay you can flip or mirror the position of the component or you can delete the component and you have the option of rotating the component and uh, duplicate okay then you can pick up the resistor capacitor rotate the capacitor ground right so next we have to do the connection so just to go to the tip of the component you can see the wiring tool is automatically visible in your uh, diagram click once and start your wiring click again to complete the wiring so that's all we have done with the circuit if you want to change any values double click the component then you can see on the right hand side the properties values the the characteristics of the component is coming so you can change the variable name or you can change you can choose that type of the resistance and you can choose you can define the values as well so in the case of desktop multisim or the, uh, the classical version of multisim you'll have a full list of instruments let's say the multimeter or oscilloscope or uh, watt meters or all the instruments are available for you to do the simulation but in the case of online multi-sim you have only probes to see the results you have a voltage probe current probe and the voltage and current it's meant for power measurement and voltage reference probe so by that you can choose your own reference instead of uh, the ground as a reference and text annotation and finally the digital probes also available so for this circuit you can choose the voltage probe so wherever you want to uh, see the waveform you can place your probes so i want to see both input as well as output so you can keep the probes on the input and output side so we are keeping the probe only on one node uh, what about the other node the other node is considered as a ground node by default it will be considered as a uh, ground node so we have done with the uh, schematic of the low pass filter now we are uh, ready to go for simulation so right now the simulation selected is an interactive simulation just to click the run button you can see the simulation is running and there are some voltages going on the input as well as output side but i know i don't think i can understand what's going on on the background of the circuit operation so let's refer the graph window to see what's going on on the circuit you can see two different waveform let's put it in the split mode so you can see both circuit as well as the results so refer the colors of your probes if it's a green it's your input and blue is your output so if you want to change the frequency of your input signal uh, double click the input source right now it's 1k you can keep it as 500 hertz you enter you can immediately see the uh, changes on your results this is due to the interactive mode of simulation can stop the simulation let's try the 
the AC sweep analysis or the frequency response characteristics of the low pass filter choose AC sweep and you can configure the AC sweep analysis in the settings window so you can define you can give your own name for AC sweep analysis you can choose your own start and stop frequency and the scales for the vertical axis let's go with the default values just run the simulation green lines indicates your input spectrum while the blue lines are your uh, output spectrum uh, the dotted line is your uh, phase uh, while the non dotted is your uh, magnitude spectrum so let's find what is the practical cutoff frequency of this low pass filter since you have one kilo ohm resistor and one microfarad capacitor if you calculate the theoretical cutoff frequency of this design which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc if you find the theoretical cutoff frequency of low pass filter you will get 159 heads let's find what is the practical cutoff frequency from the magnitude spectrum right now the scale is in the logarithmic let's change the scale to decibel now you can see the magnitude is in decibel so as per the theory to calculate the practical cutoff frequency you have to go for three decibels from the peak value so go to minus 3 db right now it's minus three decibels and the corresponding frequency is 158.49 hertz so you can notice that almost there is a match between the theoretical value and practical value. That's all we have done with the low pass filter circuit simulation. Thanks for watching. Please give your valuable comments. If you like the video kindly subscribe my channel.